There we go. Oh, hi everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Yes, sir, Mighty Lieutenant Drakir, at your service. 
And welcome back to Deadbolt. And yeah, I, don't, I only noticed it during the pre-stream just now, but these windows occasionally flash up with gunfire. <laughs> I what actually never noticed that before. Yeah, sorry, there's also there's also just a noise of muffled gunfire going on. Oh. I think we can wait for one more. There's a... It does seem to be a bit random, but yeah, last... There we go. Oh, okay. It's so subtle that the music drowns it out easily. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, last time we got started with the game, and we managed to get rid of all of the Zombie King's gang. And we moved on to the Vampires. So this is our save, I believe. Wait, okay, now I'm finishing, like, we have this game, and are we to start a new game this evening, or...? Uh, Mythargia, still. Oh, right, Mythargia. Thank you. Yeah, it, it, it is a little bit forgettable, but oh well. Okay, also, so let me correct we, that. We've been going through so many games this month. Yeah, let's see. More and more, <laughs> so many more, so many corpses who forgot to, to die. Shotgun weapons are strong. Yeah, we've seen this before. This game doesn't save in mission, it only saves at the end of missions, I believe. And we have no reason to go visit Charon. So, yeah, let's go prep this mission. Where were we last time? We're done with the Zombie Kings. And yeah, Lux in Tenebris, the Vampire's numbers are worrying thin it out. Oh, now I remember, yeah, I was I kept getting ambushed by the running bitches. Let's see. Tactical SMG and knife, okay. And yeah, we need to get rid of a bunch of vampires here. And the first thing we're going to do is carry the perhaps literal crap out of some of them. There. Okay. Now we need to, well, take out how many more? 16 more. So, yeah. Okay, I almost got jump scared by her there, just running along the freaking ceiling. But it is October, so it's really fitting. <laughs> and these. Do I recognize the dogs with the. Female, well, both women and guy vampires are doing here. Like, they are. How to say this? Very typical dons you see on the club parties. What, twerking? Uh, well, the guys are not twerking here, man. But doing another the, dance that you can see, see many the, do in the dance clubs and such. Yeah, this one is definitely twerking, though. At least something similar to it. Okay. I think it's less. Yeah, that's working, but I can see why you miss it. I think it's more of a. <laughs> oh, damn it. Dance, you think it. Do, I think lap dances do. Yes. And that was a Actually, yeah, it's combat shotgun. Though. Here's the thing. I don't think they will be able to do it working with these graphics. Here we go. Okay, and that is a combat shotgun. Okay, that scares her from the ceiling, but it doesn't... Is he going to investigate? No, they're not. Okay. Yeah, combat shotgun. Let's see, five shots. There we go. That's a lot better to deal with them when they're charging like that. And still rather effective even at medium, medium, medium range. Here we go. Kinda makes them realistic for a shotgun in real life have, uh, has uh, actually a very long deadly range. I thought it was about 80 meters or something. Hmm. Could it be? 
let's see, three more to go. That actually goes pretty well, pretty quickly when you've got a shotgun, huh? <laughs> He's yeah. just vibing up there. <laughs> oh, dangling. I think there's some combat shotguns nowadays that can reach up to 200 meters. But yeah. I think more, in most games they make shotgun sh shorter range due to, well, niche in-game balance reasons. Uh, okay, I, I just nailed that one in the back of the head with a hammer. <laughs> okay, I that, that was a good throw. I was taking a bite. Wait, kill the incubus? Kill all undeads. Uh, wait. Do you really want me to get rid of all of them? Because that's going to be a bit hard. Um, but you do have unless... a shotgun. So... Uh, the shotgun is. Well, I've got this on off. Hmm. Let me try something. Yep. Really? <laughs> You're just not going to give a damn unless it hits you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they sort of, they didn't even attack you. Like, were they unarmed and in panic? No, I, I think it's I think it said that they will attack if we shoot them. Which I guess, well, since we are not shooting them directly with this, and well, the ones we are quote unquote shooting are dying instantly. <laughs> okay, that was just dumb. <laughs> And in the meantime, just Mr. Vibes just continues to hang out up there. Are you sure he's dead? <laughs> okay. I might try and see if I can get a good clip of that. <laughs> okay. A bit long, but we still did pretty well. No. Next mission. Yeah, th that's the thing with this game. You some you you just need to. Well, take different approaches if you get stuck at certain points. Yeah, and even recommend you, if you stroll on, take a moment to get, walk out away <laughs> and return uh, freshed. So sort of yeah. the back, yeah. And it seemed, last time you did struggle, this time you just flew through it. Yeah, because I didn't try to be dumb by just kicking down the front door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The flames roared to life. The vampires reform, a lounge not too far, discover their aim, and bring them a storm. The lounge, air the lounge contains a safe. Maybe I can understand why these gloves have been suddenly appearing. Yeah, because we learned last time that the vampires keep setting up clubs, but in like a week or two they're suddenly gone again. Some vampires have their souls outside of their bodies stored in phylacteries. They must be destroyed to kill the vampire. That's more a lich thing, but oh well. Phylactery magical charms. The vampires prefer bottles. They will glow noticeably blue. What? Yeah, what? Okay, I guess you maybe want making your, your vampires to be more unique, but... Come on, you... No, they're more liches. That looks like a vampire. Uh, also, I hope that the audio balancing is a lot better now, now that I've, well, upped the audio 6 decibels, because in the last uh, recording of this I noticed that, uh, yeah, the, the music was hardly audible, on the VOD at least. But yeah, let's see, the, the Bloody Mary, okay. Uh, the Bloody Mary, another club, another safe, maybe this one will have useful information. Okay. I don't usually do this, but... But nothing, apparently. I think it was supposed to be a... In this case, almost... Yep. <laughs> I'm sure you call it a meme, a... Very common phrase in a board when you're about to... Uh, work yep. with someone or take them home or something. Could be, and apparently these big guys can't be just knifed in one go. <laughs> Okay. And yeah, he's floating over, of course. Oh. Look, look. Yep. I thought it was bouncing. 
Hoppity hop. Hippity hoppity hop. Hippity hoppity. Uh, something something property. Are you see it on the roof? And he said. Right, phylacteries. Oh, so it's those who use the philanthropy. And I see. I see what it is. Bottle mm, shell ah, over there. his head. I see. <laughs> Imagine accidentally serving that as a drink. <laughs> well, fuck, I guess you're, I'm stuck with you now. Well, would that make the other person a philanthropy? Well. Ow. I How guess. How are you actually supposed to pronounce it? Phylactery, I believe. Uh. And his is upstairs in another bottle shell. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> become a smear okay. on the wall. Hey, whose bottle upstairs is it then? I think they swap around a bit here and there. Ooh. Okay, hide in here. There. I overlooked those two. Some words I probably need to hear a few times before I learn them. And some just are strong for me to say in English with my own accent. Yeah, that's just some words I have easier time to say if I switch accents. Oh, hello. Okay, the 10 millimeter pistol pierces. Uh... And I, okay, I aimed a bit too high with her. Okay, there's less vents that we can use to just jump around here. I just there. noticed where our soul counter is, and I mistook it just now for a broken heart. Okay, now quick. Okay, that was a case of being stuck between a rock and a... Well, a bitch. So yeah, we need to kill them and destroy the phylactery. Let's see... Oop. Boom. <laughs> I'm not going to risk taking both of those on at once. Also, another boom. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, the trick is to... You can, if you can't destroy them before you kill the, uh, them, it's a good idea. But sometimes, the post fatal, you may need to destroy them before you can destroy the philanthropy. Yeah. Okay. Now, take these out. Just to save myself a little bit of extra opposition. Yeah, let's see. I guess the thing is, you either destroy the fence like the fifth first as possible, or destroy it, it right after you destroy the vampire as fast as possible. Yeah, and there we got lucky because one of the shells hit the phylactery. Yeah, phylactery. What the hell could philanthropy? Wait, philanthropy is something else, ain't it? I think I'm using the wrong word here. Uh, yeah, the, the word is a phylactery. Like, not sure what you've been saying then. Philanthropy. Uh, that, that, that's, that's a philosophy or something. Damn it. What? There seems to be a very slight delay between and just act, pressing the button and the acting sometimes. There. Okay. Jump scare the vampires on the cam. Oh, the egg. But yeah, 
I, I know I'm occasionally correcting him out of some, some words, but I am not gonna lie, I do struggle with some words myself. Yeah, both the, neither of us are native English speakers, so, uh, yeah, sue us <laughs> if, it, if, it, if it matters no, that no, much. No, 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 don't, don't sue us, nope. don't, and accru- Oh, come on. <laughs> was those that two a, heard that. Was that a helium level of army that achievement? <laughs> Maybe, but I, I got her as she was still falling from the ceiling. Okay. And the achievement acrobat. <laughs> I get the joke. Bat, acro. It took you. You. I'm, I'm focusing. What? I'm not trying to die. Can we Let's take it? see. You open the safe, and again, there isn't much inside. Three envelopes full of money. Uh, the envelope contains a date a month from now in the address of the Bloody Mary. Okay. The envelope contains an address near the docks. This may be important. Okay. And that's all we actually um, needed to do. We okay. don't need to kill off the rest. Let's see. Okay, let the dead rest without any revivals. Okay. Because we destroyed the phylacteries quickly enough. Okay, hello. Kitty. Flames worth alive. Candles have spotted vampires coming and going from the industrial district. The same address I found in the safe. I'll find out what they're doing. Suddenly the flames speak. The goals of the undead are always the same. Since some vampires will have phylacteries in difficult places and will have to be killed multiple times. Okay. And cat, I, I thought you could use some, compa some companionship. Spoke the fireplace. Life is not meant to be spent alone. Ah. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, because ironically, the the fireplace is a bit uh, cold when it comes to interactions. Bottle service. What are the vampires doing near the docks? Protect the ash. It's worth more than you. Okay. And right off the bat, we have to deal with three of these. Though they're not too bright, it seems. Okay. <laughs> Very not bright. No, no, no. I think I know what's going on. It's too bright. They're standing on the spotlights, after all. Oh, hello. There's a blocker. Uh, I should not. I, I'm kidding you not. When I was working at Superstore, I started wearing cat regularly, even to this day, because of the lights gave me headaches yep. okay now they're introducing something else to the game vent blockers yep. Yep. we can pick this but we could just knock and let one of the dumb asses come to us okay Oh, now there's two of them. Ooh. That was close. Hmm. A bit too close. I, I think if I pop out to rem unlock this, then I'll probably get shot because they're moving rather out of sync with each other. And yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a tricky entrance, and there's no way for us to hide. So we need to take we need to take care of these three, or at least. Oops. Knock the brute out. Yep. Yep. And it's <laughs> my head. Oh dear. Okay, maybe time to go visit Charon for some new weapons. 
Okay. There. There. Okay. Mm. Hello, what have you learned? Okay. Soul bottles, I'm safe for now. <laughs> Or... Yeah, they're over there. Okay, smart of them to stop them somewhere, well, where they're not easily reachable. Okay, now this is a bit of a problem because they're all bunched up here and we don't have anything like Molotov cocktails. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll have to go over here. Yeah, take both of these out because there's another switch over this way. Hmm. Knock knock. <laughs> does, does your buddy owe you like five bucks or something and you're angry that he got killed? <laughs> uh. Okay, give me this. Shove that up your ass. Yeah, come on, activate that. Somehow I got her. Okay. Still going to need... Actually, most... Some of them are moving away here. Okay, if it's only those two, I think I can take them here. Especially since there's no banshee to charges here. Actually... I can just do that. It does aggro the other one. Ew. But now there's a block here. Oh. That, that actually... Okay, that worked. Not fully as intended, I presume, but oh well. There we go. And didn't even give us a bloody machine gun to destroy these. There we go. Okay, I'll take the Tommy gun. Okay. And now they're all bunched up over there. Can I... Okay, just need to jump down. Don't actually need to kill them. But I probably sh still should. How do we even get over there? It seems to be only accessible from the outside. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I missed a lot there. Actually... The, the damn, come on! <laughs> Okay. There we go. Take this. Open that. Burn that. Up, up, come on. I forgot to open that one. He just shot the gun you in the groin. Yep. Okay, open, grab, shove up vampire's ass, open, burn, and get out. Okay, that lures most lures most of them away. And these things are a real pain in the ass with how much they block. And that was <laughs> that was me looking down the damn barrel. Oh dear. There, there, and there. Okay, one, two, three, and... Have we opened it? Yes, I did, okay. I need to try and pop up right behind him. Okay, apparently you can be sort of stealthy if you're just sticking right on their ass so that when they turn they don't actually see you. Okay, I'll take it. Wait, could it be... He didn't notice you due to your height? 
that as well, probably. And no, that was not jab at Helios in real life height. I mean, yeah, at the characters. The, the Reaper is very short. Like, he's shorter than even the basic zombies. Yeah, do. Let's remember, these vampires are extremely tall. Yeah, they're specifically called tall as well. Yeah. And th mm. this came out before the certain Resident Evil game. The certain... I don't yeah. know if it's actually a vampire, but people call her a vampire. Lady. Yeah, she was, yeah, she was acting very much like one. Okay. Okay, um, I, I think he was taking reduced damage because I was shooting through the door. That's a nice little detail. Yeah, well, that kind of makes sense. Yes. Oh, come on, ladies, get up. Well done, Nastash. Okay. Oh. Okay, that was a, that was just a quick draw. I I thought she was going to go back that way. And that should be all of them, I think. But you were you are supposed to burn this uh, ash thing. Yeah, but it's a lot easier when all of them are dead. Okay, yeah, we just go out the sides. And yep. Yeah. This is how we get to these. Okay. Yep. A lockpick. For once, we can't just get some smuck to open it for us. There we go. Okay, I, I heard the engine start up, and I thought there were reinforcements coming. Okay. That'd be a bad okay. news if that happened. This one is in a bit of a position. <laughs> Save give him some dignity in death or pre death. <laughs> <laughs> okay, still three stars. Hmm. Giddy. Okay, next mission the flames roar to life. Twins lost at sea of lust and of pain. Women without love cannot live with me. Amber and Evelyn run brothels downtown. They are high-ranking members of the Thousand Year Royals, and they must understand the cryptic messages I've been finding in the club safes. Okay. The twins have somehow made each other their phylactery. I will have to kill both at nearly the same time. Wait. Hold on. Did I accidentally call this out? <laughs> Seems so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if I always, when you talked about if accidentally so burn someone a one of those bottles, then I said, will that make, make the person a one with that kind of thing as well? Um. Well, apparently we got it confirmed here. Yeah. But maybe uh, they don't drink it, but. Now I've just got the stupid idea in my head. Uh, I've, I've been watching a, a YouTube channel called, I, I believe they're called Pointy Hats recently, and they've been doing the occasional uh, liches, but better, and not m of different classes. They've got some pretty interesting ideas with that, and now I'm just getting the idea of a lich pretending to be a bartender, and just serving someone their, well, their bottled soul as a drink, and then their, that guy, and any, or that person, and any offspring they, uh, they uh, get, becoming new phylacteries for the lich. Now that, that would be utterly ironic if that was like a Dracula getting Belmonts, the, the entire Belmont bloodline to be their phylactery. Actually, oh, that might explain God. why they keep popping up. <laughs> the vampires are both the most attractive and sexually active undead, so it comes naturally in brothels. Okay. Uh, let's be honest. They're not wrong. Yeah, they suck dick as much as they suck blood. I was about to say, me yeah, like, I don't know if they were like that originally in folklore. 
blood stalking hmm. or life essence. Like there are two versions. Like they want to suck blood, and the one that sucks the essence of your soul. Yeah, the life force. Like, like the hopping vampire stays. Yeah, and this Drigoy. Let's see. Amber and Evelyn, twin vampires are in a brothel. Shut it down. Oh dear. Six ago. I think I've read of that. Shame. Another slow night. Okay. And we're going to have to take both out. And I'm pretty sure there I I'm pretty sure I remember this, and that they are in the other in the opposite buildings of each other. But luckily for us, there's, I believe, also a, um, <clears throat> a vent that goes between their rooms. Okay. Oh, this will make things tricky. Okay, she, min she misses twice. And then the freaking dog gets me. There, yeah, deal the with you. The dog is almost camouflaged, if not for the damn eyes. There we go, <laughs> one entire SMG empty. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's one of them. The yeah, we can take cover behind it. There we go, thank you. Wait, what's going on? Why do they not wait? Wait, is hmm. that... Are all these... Was on bed stoned? Yep. Let's see. Shot off shotgun. That won't be enough to deal with all of them, though. Yeah, for people wondering why I'm guessing that, it looks like there's a big pile of ash on that table. Hmm. It's. There. Okay. Oh, come on, I can't not... There we go. Oh, okay, that was a bit <laughs> iffy. And yeah, it seems that we can't actually get a combat shotgun of our own. Ooh. <laughs> I keep forgetting to check the freaking ceilings for these assholes. There we go. I actually have to congratulate them on that a bit, because they are very accurate with the actual hitboxes of these attacks. It's not just that it damages in an entire red rectangle before you. It's actually where the knife is actually going. Hmm. That is not detail. <laughs> He's taking cover behind the hooker's ass. Two more. And we'll show them the door. And are you going to actually react to anything, or...? Yeah, I'm not going to take a risk. Okay. Now, give me that shotgun again. And yeah, there is a vent going between the both of them. And we need to unlock both. Oh, um... Yeah, she has a katana at the ready, and... <laughs> two guys just completely wasted. Wait, I get the one on the table. But what about the one on the bottle shelf? No and, clue. Wait, I saw something else. Was... Why is his, the ones on the table having his boots on his knees? Uh, it might be his pants. And yeah, there are some weird pants that they look like boots. Hmm. I don't think I have the armaments to really get to the other side from the bottom. So I'm hoping that there's no blocker on the other side. Uh, 
Damn it, there is. Okay. And that was a wasted shot. Unless... But that's one way to do it. But she was chasing you, wasn't she? True. Hmm. Damn it. Missed too many shots there. Okay, so mm. we need to fight our way up both of these towers. And actually take out both of them at least once so we can get access or lure them away to get access to the uh, switches. Okay, save myself a bullet. Lure them out. Hmm. There we go. Also, something with. Let's see, where's the light switch here? Where did I shoot it out? Okay, I'm just noticing that the laser sight seems to be missing at the moment. So I think it might have something to do with the light levels or something. Or is maybe that's just a glitch here. Hmm. Wait, let me grab that. Now we go deal with the other side. It's more armaments than we had before. Take her out. Okay. And then the freaking dog gets me because he's too high. Oh dear. Yep. <laughs> okay, I might need to swap to that suppressed shotgun that I got. Yep. Though I can't swap mid. Stepped a little bit too close because my eyes were on the guy and not on the fact that I was pushing the door open there. Okay, let's give the suppressed shotgun a, a, well, a shot. Okay, that was underwhelming. Wait. And I can't swap weapons now. Suppressed shotgun? Yep. Yep. How does Damn. that work? I hope you're gonna put a strong enough silencer on it, and that's a waste because I have no way to break the. Actually, can we just? Okay, we can just punch it out, but now we're kind of stuck. Okay, uh, restart. Okay, yeah, this, it makes sense that the suppressed shotgun deals a lot less damage than a combat shotgun. But I was still a bit... Oh, there we go. We just need to get a good aim on them as well still. Not just hope for the best. Okay, let them come to me. Come on, quickly. Before your friend revives. Too late. Okay. There. Can still take him out that way, though. No. Afraid. There. I think as long as we get a good headshot in. Oop. Okay, did I just get unlocked? Key. <laughs> With the first shot here, or did I just completely whiff the shot? There we go. There. <laughs> they heard that, but they're still dumb enough to come investigate. 
<laughs> Most he gets a sniff of the hooker while he's at it. Uh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Stop enjoying the merchandise and get moving. Okay. Now. This 10 millimeter is good if we can get headshots off. Let me first use this final shot of the suppressed shotgun here to deal with her. Then we'll have a full 10 millimeter and two suppressed shots. Not that that will do any good. But not to, not through suppressed shots. Two shotgun shells still to deal with the dog and the others here. Okay. Wait, I have an idea. Never mind. Yep. Mm. Right. How about we get a nice bone? But actually, we need three in terms of three bones. Damn it. Okay, we do need to let get a little bit lucky with it. There. Lure them over. Actually, I don't even think I need to use any shots on these guys, since I can just get behind them. And yeah, then I can use the vent to get out. Hello, goodbye. There we go. Yeah, th this is a lot smarter because then I can just go over here, get out, and deal with this side. Now we have four shots. And there's four targets here. So, one, two, three, four. Okay. Now, this leads over here. Then I'll have just two targets in my way to the switch. Let's see. Hmm. Can I get this guy dead? This is a risk. Yeah, too risky. But yeah, luring them away from here is going to preserve a lot of ammo that I can then use on the other side. There. Yeah, alert him. He'll alert the others. I just drop in behind them. And off they go. Actually, I should have grabbed the combat shotgun. <laughs> oh well. Uh, paid for that all the same. I was just to warn you about him, but I was sure we're gonna pay her. Pair, I mean pair, not a peer. I'd be too woody for my taste. Here we go. Deal with you. No. Oh, I accidentally threw the knife, it seems. Okay. I'm guessing the blade only breaks when it hits a target. Okay. There. Hmm. Actually... Okay, a knife is not enough for you. You have the same amount of health as a bruiser. <laughs> I was thinking about being cheeky and saving myself a shell for the other side, but I will. Okay. In there. In there. And we move in behind. 
Okay. Open this up. Let's not go yet. Let me grab this one so we have as many weapons as we can have at the moment. Okay, she'll revive here. Oops. Speak of. But she probably won't move away from there, I'm guessing. Slash hoping. There we go. Okay. Is that his spot on the table? Yes. The there. Come on. There we go. Just punch it. Okay. And that gives us a full combat shotgun. Okay. Now we can take them both out. There's no need to go pick a fight with him. Okay. One, two, three. Nope. Okay. I'll need to lure them out there. Because the dogs are going to give her enough time to take a shot. Okay. One is the stool bearer, and the other one is the pistolier. Yep. Or gun whipper, perhaps? I, I... Gun whipper. Wait, gunslinger! Not gun whipper. No, that would be something. Just Amy puts a gun at the end of his <laughs> the end of his whip. That probably happened a few times, but that's more of him stealing someone's pistol. Okay. There. Open it up. Okay. One, That's two, three, four. That's as fast as it will shoot. Okay. There. It seems to be breaking some lights that are around it as well. Or maybe it takes multiple punches to take it out or something. <clears throat> I'm thinking I think I will take the big guy out because I get the feeling if I just if I take out the others here, that he'll just walk up the stairs and shoot me in the back of the head. So let's do that to him instead. Come on! <laughs> Ooh, doggy. Okay, that'll turn things around a little bit, but hopefully not too much. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, there seems to be some other things on there as well. And I'm back, and I should go and talk with a use Italy in the past, use it to save whether I need to walk away. Don't don't die. In this game, it's a lot more likely to happen. Yeah. I also have a feeling if I did say that, you probably would have won somehow. <laughs> there. Three shots in her. Open this up. Sound like a... Uh, okay, I don't know if... Three shots is a lot in terms of drinks. Hmm, actually not, no. Well, actually, it depends on three shots of what. Okay, we'll be going down this way, it seems. Wait. You're slightly taller than that zombie. Okay. That means... The Reaper is not short per se, just... Yeah, the Reaper is all extremely tall. There. And I said otherwise, if you come really quick, just take a break and come back with a fresh perspective. Yeah, well, let's keep going a bit more on this. There, take that out. I say that these mm. hints on the side that comes up, that definitely means there was a lot of 
heart and dedication for who or whichever people made this game. Okay, that's going to be a one bit person tricky. Or more. Hmm. Oh yeah, it means they knew that this could uh, enrage people. So it's good they have where they had those things on the side, likely. There we go. Let's took care of that early. Now, there's still the zombie over here. Or... Yeah, he went up. Okay. That's unexpected. Hmm. Okay, I was planning on just walking in here, throwing the knife in his face. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's the lower floors done. Now, let's get them down. Let's see. Take her out with the shotgun. Swap it for the pistol. Okay. Open that, and over we go. Okay. Now, as long as those stay over there... I think I should be good. Hmm. I think are, but I thought moving them to follow you. There. Got lucky. Yep, and they just don't seem to care. <laughs> okay. There. Okay. Two shots, one spare pistol. Come on. Come on. I don't want to risk just a, a trade of shots with her because she's in cover. Because of that. It's so, it's so damn close. You took both each other out. Well, she could still revive, so she won there. Yeah. There. Actually, for the shits of it. Pizza lover, I'm, I'm doing fine. Hey, Pizza, you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you doing well yourself? Yeah, in rock, in rock, paper, shotgun, shotgun always wins over Katana. <laughs> okay. I think. Okay. One shot over the Hellhound. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm doing really bad. Really set. What's going on then, Pizza? Miss. M miss. <laughs> I guess we're going this way. There we go. Um. Yeah, shotgun you. Hammer you. Uh, let's see. Break that. I'm this lover, but I don't know if it's top of you just okay with the discussion on or have it on your Steam or chat. Okay, okay, I guess I, I saw what you mean there. Okay. A uh, sensitive topic. Yeah. If, if you feel like you do need to talk about it, feel free to poke either of us on a Discord. Yeah. Or... Mm. I do have the Ronting Ravine, but... Mm, that's not Ronting. Okay, I can carry two of these. There. Actually, I think we might be prepped for taking them both out now. Uh, let's see, I probably do need someone to talk to, but I don't want to be a bother. It, it's, you're not a bother, Pizza, just... 
Just ask if someone on the Discord wants to talk. And if no one does, uh, you can you can poke me in DMs. Yep. Really? A, a shotgun blast to the back of the head and they still don't die. Okay. You're welcome. There. Okay, this gives us one more shell. There. Okay. Break that. The vampire hammers. Get behind them. Okay. Now, this bunch. Dog, zombie, one and two. Okay. Now we have a shell for both of these. Okay. Break that. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, and yeah, Katana will always lose against Katana, so shit, instead of a normal one projectile, a shotgun fires multiple, and <laughs> but he can slice down multiple projectiles at once, but one projectile can be sliced. <laughs> lose against shotgun, yeah. <laughs> oh, good gods. Now, can we take this bitch out now? Nope. Okay, we need to take him out. Okay, come on. There. Okay. There. Oh, they've got, they've got both her and the phylactery. Okay. Now, is this enough? No, that is not enough light to hide in, but it is enough to lure him over. And of course, I miss my first shot again. Okay. Take you quick. There. Right there. Okay. Is there another weapon we need for this? No. So instead, grab this one. Okay. No. First, we open that up. Yeah, I'm. I'm starting to get a bit frustrated now. Because we've been so close multiple times now. Dog. Okay. Got unlucky with the spread there this time. No. Let's see. We have the pistol already. Nope. Oh, cassette tape. Okay. Uh, let's see... I'd much prefer having the shotgun for this. So, let's... There. Wasted shot, probably, but oh well. Yeah. Take that. Oh. One, two... Okay. Three shells, a pistol. There, okay. Oh, great. Now we rush across. Surprise her with the shotgun. There we go. Too late, <laughs> the harvest. Okay. It seems she was packing a shotgun as well for some reason. Either way, we're done with them. So let's just get out of here. 
before something else just randomly kills me. 27 deaths, half an hour, and still four stars. Yeah, that's a pretty tough one. Okay, it, it'd be a lot easier if we could refill our ammo or anything, but yeah, that's not going to happen. The flames stay extinguished. Okay. A club the candles have been investigating has suddenly gone quiet, along with the candles. What happened inside? Pardon? What happened inside? There is no intel. The fireplace remains quiet. Okay. Alright, and we did get a cassette. Yeah, so let's actually go back for that. Cassette, cassette. I, saw, I feel like I'm saying that in my Swedish accent. Cassette. It sounds a bit like that. Zombie 2? Only Ash helps. Ash brings a bit of Jacob back to me. What happened to Jacob? I remember. He died. He overdosed. My tongue feels heavy in my mouth. Talking is hard. Thinking is hard. Did Jacob pay rent? I shift the shotgun to my hand. Standing is hard. Roland? Roland says we shouldn't smoke the ash. He says we need it. He says we can leave soon. Are you scuttling? I fire my gun and splatter Jacob against the wall. So it was the Reaper. I'm sorry, Jacob. Thick smoke fills the room and Jacob's red and uh, yellow and green corpse is gone. Where's Jacob? I want to be Jacob again. Okay. What? Yeah. This drug makes them feel alive, but it also seriously messes with them. It's a pizza. Everything is hard sometimes, even a person can be hard, especially if it's a guy. Okay, a lot to give. This club is strangely quiet. What happens? Hello. What? New enemy type. Wait. Okay, two is shots that needed. How ash is made? Close that and yeah, that's how the ash is made. It's yep, <laughs> in a tape. Suppressed PDW. That's an SMG. Okay. I can get him behind you. Better to just bail you down. Yeah. The ash is basically uh, it's landmine. Okay, I'll be taking that. I'm lucky that's not Wait. active. Hold on. Why was there landmine in the house? Let's see, I hope that doesn't activate on me. Boom. <laughs> Wait, are these vampires or something else? Now they're on the ceiling. I meant the uh, bat things. Yeah, they're probably vampires, or at least a version of them. Let's see, disconnects over there. How do I get up there? Hmm. Oh, elevator. Okay. And uh, really, you put your phylactery on the can? There we go. What are the on with? SMGs. Okay. Actually, before I go anywhere, check the systems. Okay, that would just be that would be for getting yeah for, for sneaking up behind them. This well, there's not much I can do to this one. No? Back up, kill him. Okay, the the thing that I thought was happening. <laughs> Twice before now it actually has happened again. Okay. Reinforcements? Yep. No. Hmm. 
Actually, no. I don't think that'll do enough. Hmm. There we go. It still goes up. Wait, is there more? Oh, a lot more. Okay. Uh, combat shotgun then. Also, let's just turn off the lights. Is this the moment we should have saved the landmine for? Probably. <laughs> Bouncing around in there like it's freaking front alive. Yep, truly. Oh, come on, the very freaking last one. Okay, this time we save the lad mine. Yeah, because it'll probably take out a whole bunch of them. Music from nowhere. Yeah, the, the music is muted when you're outside because, well, oh. it's the music inside. Oh, Isalova has also a question. Yes, Hello, it what's this game about? And the, yeah, what is this game? And what is this game about? This is Deadbolt, and well, we are playing a Reaper who is well sending the undead back into death, supposedly. Uh, let's see. Let me swap this out. Put it here. Okay. There. And just blow that one in off. Uh, yeah, we, we die in one hit, so we have to be careful. We can move around vent system, vent and well, vent and <laughs> sewer systems freely. Okay. Knock and well, we can also knock on doors to lure them over. It's a little oh, cool. Oh, ah, damn it's it. It's a cool concept. Yeah. So it, it's a I bit of a, a puzzle game as well. Yeah. Oh, very, a lot of strategy and tactics. Can I dig enough into the fruit of these under? Yes. Yeah, we, we can them. we can also just throw them, yeah. Yep, damn it. Though it doesn't deal enough damage to kill these. Because these are well these take multiple hits at least. There is there's differing damage values between weapons. Like this son of shotgun here will cut any of these in half. Oh. Let's see. Well, can I basically what I was trying to say, can I go full stealth? Uh, full stealth de depends on the mission. Yeah, some missions require more stealth than others. Or you're doing a mix of both. For some situations you need stealth, and others you need to go full aggressive. Yeah. And, yeah. It depends on level, but again, some levels have more stealth than others. Or some are extremely very much you need all you can go do everything depending on what each room and food requires. Yeah, it, it basically that room and all that. It, it's sort of like a hotline Miami in a bit. Uh, but you have a bit more stealth options as well. And victory. There we go. Okay. And yeah, the 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 yeah. the big guys who aren't as much like bats, they have phylacteries hidden around, which you need to destroy before they will actually die. Otherwise, they will just keep reviving. And if you don't know what it is, it's a it's an item, usually a bottle with a soul in it. Basically, they behave more like a leech. Okay, here come the reinforcements. Okay, two fully suppressed. And wait, what? Oh, oh hello. Oh, hello. Yep. Ave, but I love stealth. Again, you may have plenty of stealth opportunities. It's not always that much of an option, seeing as they already. Well, that's a. F How many of these assholes are coming in here? Oop. 
Anyone else drop a gun around here? <laughs> All over there. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, oh. It's a good thing that I turned off all the lights. Because I can just go grab the combat shotgun up there. Yeah, now we are using stealth uh, for single survival. <laughs> also, just all these bullet casings over here from when I gunned these two down. Okay. Holy macaroni! Damn it. <laughs> okay, that was my bad. I thought the vent was outside. Instead, I just dropped it in front of his gun. Oh no, he sees an NCG. I was wondering if he was walking around with a spear or something, but no, the gun is the same color as his damn wing. It's not the. It's yet. Their wing is gray, the gun is. What? Is yellow. Yeah, but it's hard to see the yellowness without walking the light. And that's only a very small difference when they're in the shadow, yeah. Yep, yep, really? Okay, sometimes yeah, it's just a, re or a bit of RNG with the spread of weapons. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm the one looking to see if it is a gun, but yeah. Oh, a quick look. It looks like an alien weapon almost. An alien spear or something. Close the damn door. There. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think with the shot guns, I, it's probably better that I aim more center mass instead of trying to get headshots specifically. Probably a good idea. I don't know. I just remember now that the piece of this question that did we ever post on YouTube that ninja game we did early on? Maybe it started to stream together. Uh, Aragami? No, because that was before we started recording. Oh. Yeah, like, okay, Aragami we can recommend that, I guess. Do we? Yeah, it's hard to tell you to watch that. That is, yeah, again. Those recordings don't exist anymore. On the internet. Yeah. We started uploading videos soon after that. Well, I, I think, I, I, think I, I recommend you to start doing it, that you record it on uh, Twitch and produce it on YouTube. Uh, I think you did, yeah. And I forgot to put down the landmine. Yeah, well, I don't know if I recommend it or you asked about it and I told you that many YouTubers have seen does that, that the that means that that does Twitch and you do at the same time. But they, they record a Twitch that is split up their Twitch into episodes and put them on YouTube, or they put up the entire stream on YouTube. Some I've seen uh, take the full stream and split it up into a smaller episodes. Yeah, I, 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 I did that uh, during some of... I did that with some of the uh, Let's Plays that I did. That would cut the recording into. Well, that was also when you were limited to 50 minutes uh, videos. So that I would record a level of, for example, Crisis in one go and then cut it into 50 minutes uh, sections. It's kind of a go. good thing to do, I say. Or I understand. The practical to use load loot and large chunk video. But when you see when people load up a four hour, six hour, or some reason a ten hour video, does the one of us look at it and go, oh, Why come didn't on. you just split those, that chunky stream, into several episodes for a week or something? And you have a, probably a piece the algorithm quite easily. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'll check. I'll read that in a second, pizza. They, they are. They asking. Uh, uh, they are. They asking about uh, if you ever play the stealth games. I am planning on doing at least some of uh, uh, those. Yeah. Uh, probably Splinter Cell at least. Let's not forget the shotgun.
Give me that. I remember, did we have played a few stealth games that maybe is on YouTube? I was trying to remember which ones. Uh, Mark of the Ninja, maybe? There we go. Okay, now quickly break that phylactery before he revives. Just too late. Okay. I'll take that. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's like see. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll try and keep you in touch on that uh, pizza. I know we have played mini games that have, have stealth elements in them, but the games you call can call stealth games is another uh, thing entirely. For yep. again, we probably have played mini games that have stealth sections and stealth elements, but they're not stealth games. If that makes sense. Uh, there is the, the... I should have an, a list on the Discord of games that we have done. I need to actually update that, since I have it in a bit. Uh, there, I do believe... Well, if I did complete some... Uh, <clears throat> if I streamed some full stealth games, they'll, they should be noted in there. Oh, definitely. There we go. Actually, there. I think it helps a, a little bit if they can't actually see. Though, I presume the full bats. These guys. There we go. I. He, he was alerted a lot earlier, so I think they can actually see in the dark. Or he heard you. It's a bad mm. echolocation. Still four stars, despite all that, huh? <laughs> yeah, the problem for the developers knew that this is a hard level. If you do it this um, under this amount of minutes, you did something right. Yeah, but uh, yeah, pizza. I'm planning to at least do some of the Splinter Cell games, not all of them. Maybe I'll... Maybe... I'm thinking at least the original, Pandora Tomorrow, Chaos Theory, and Double Agent. The two after that, Conviction and something else, I'm not sure about. Um... I also think about doing some of the Thief games. Probably not the first two, since those are a bit, yeah, clunky with them being this old. But I would definitely be up for streaming Thief 3, ja Deadly Shadows, and uh, Thief 4. Which one did we showcase off? I think we showcased 4. Like, it, it doesn't have a number or anything, but it is a stealth sequel because, uh, yeah, you, that'd be a bit of a spoiler, but you can find evidence of the previous Geralt around, I'll say that. Okay. And maybe some other day, the original two, we'll have to see. For now, the flames were to life. Let's see. The undead have somehow been turning their own bodies into ash. Is that the purpose of all these clubs? Sir Stella, the head of these uh, Thousand Year Royals, most likely knows how this was done. He will know the key. Betrayal of kin. A man without guilt cannot live with me. Sir Stella. It sounds like more like a, a ma'am. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's the last name. The Stellas are a... Royal family of vampires. Any activity in the Thousand Year Royals would not go without them knowing. Uh, Sir Stella's private condonium is heavily guarded, so expect heavy opposition. Also, how is the how is the audio balancing uh, pizza? I noticed that during the last time that we streamed this game, the music was a bit hard to hear. Intonation is a condom. That that word. Condominium. Let's see, it's fine. Okay. Also, we have a bed now. 
Didn't we get another set? I thought it was a band. We pull up to another club. The music is still playing, but no voices come out. The music pounds in my skull. I'll turn it off as soon as I get inside. Another successful harvest, he would say. Madam Stella says that the ash will help us leave this place, but almost nobody knows that the ash is made from people. Something something so and green. From the skeletons and their strange magic. The workers pile out of the car. They have been, they've been blinded, so they can't see what happened. One by one, they pile into the club with their shovels and bags and start harvesting the frozen bodies. I promised not to tell. I promised not to tell. The Stellas would kill me if I did. Last week, Logan blabbed to his girls during pillow talk. Big mistake. He's ash now. We've all, uh, yeah, we've all been betrayed before. That's why we're here. What's one more? I just I just want to secure my trip to hell, one way or another. Can you blame me? Yeah, because all vampires are born from a, a death through betrayal. As in, they were betrayed or betrayed others. No, not entirely sure. Yeah, let's see, it's fine. I'll just be lucky. Okay. You'll just be a pizza on the roof, huh? What? Uh, oh, right. <laughs> Breaking bad. Sir Stella, the vampire leader must know about what happens. Ooh, hello. You have done a good job, friend. Feel pride in what you helped craft. In what you helped craft. And we've got another uh, faction showing up. Kill a sergeant's mid-spin. Okay. And yeah, they've already cleaned house here. Oh, hello, you popped in out of nowhere. Actually, can I just am? <laughs> uh, are you really surprised by the people you just killed earlier? Yep. Okay, they teleport around. That's going to be a nuisance. Wait, me? I thought I had the knife. <laughs> a skeleton and they teleport around. Yep, we got one of them. Knock, knock. Pizza delivery. Uh, Joke's on you, it's a shotgun. Uh, Old world rifle. Oh, whoa. Okay, and it is automatic. Who are these? Come on. Get over here, bonehead. I, yes, I see there are skeletons, but... What exactly for they are... Not simple skeletons. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Just trying to get into the cover there. Yep, not. Yep. Okay, this can be annoying with how things overlap sometimes. There, get cover. Okay, they are good at covering each other. I'll give them that. Oh, Swap. Nope. Actually, grab that and that. If we can get behind one of them. Oh, like here. Yep. Never mind. Okay. There. Okay. Nope. Survived, and I, 
I can hear ink running around behind me somewhere. Yep. Where does always do No, they just they just jumped in there out of out of nowhere. Yep, that went over their heads. Come on. Okay. Knife's still there. Now, let's have a bit of a look before we act further. Okay, we've got two more up there and another big boy. Hmm. Oh, that goes directly there. Damn. Okay, yeah, we might actually need to start using cover to deal with these guys. Oh, he... he I know there's a door in the mid between. Okay, that... I think I got lucky there with getting them. Uh, let's see, sledgehammer, Ooh, and the suppressed... No, it's a knife. Okay, I have three shots. Oh, that's not going to be enough for these, I think. Oop. There we go. Oop. I think if I attack just before they walk through, it will get them when they exit. Oh. And luckily it hits a bit larger than it actually looks. That's good for me. Because I these jackasses are not dropping weapons. I think it hit two at the same time. Okay, combat shotgun. Now, how do... Uh. Oh, they, they executed the vampire. Now, how do... There's another elevator door there. Okay. Up. Now just try and get up to these jackasses. There we go. Oh, hello. It's quite a complicated lock. So that must mean that there's something of value in this thing. Come on. Go, go, come! Where did he come from? Well, we now know at least that uh, that guy will appear. Okay, there's stuff like that, them just randomly appearing, that's just... That's just bullshit. Yeah. It is. And that's me aiming too high. Cassettes. There. Okay, that was between a rock and a hard place there. That was me picking up the sledgehammer instead of closing the door. Okay. There. Actually, there we stand. You. <laughs> I thought I vanished into the freaking vent there. <laughs> no, you went flying. Okay. It's freaking. Ah. 
freaking spinning in the air. There. Sledgehammer. There, shove that up his ass. Okay, old world rifle. Okay. Okay, I thought I killed all of them, but I still ducked away just to be certain. Okay, one annoying thing is just that's... Uh, okay, the, never mind. The mouse stays relatively in the same position when you move between, but that can make it still a bit annoying with aiming. Uh, combat shotgun to deal with those, and then the old world rifle to mow down the intruders after. Yeah, I'm wondering, was it just one or several that came after you opened the lock? I saw only one. But that just means I'll just have to close the door after me here. How did... Okay, he... Missed most of the shot on this last one there. Okay, here we go again. I think went through the, the ring cage. I think I aimed a little bit too high on the last one. Come on. There. Yeah, he, he just pops out of nowhere. Okay. Yeah, that, that last one was just a, a, another one. They just teleport in. Do remember that. Bye-bye. Uh. Okay, how much ammo is in this one? Uh, not enough. Okay. Uh, wait, is he... He's literally wa waiting by the door. Okay. And I pressed up instead of down. Okay. A bit odd that this one gets skipped for some reason, but I will. There we go. And with Lucky literally two just bullets just to our name, we leave. Yeah, Lucky was just one remaining, so we only needed one shot. But if you had missed that one... Yeah. Yeah, the difficulty is goes up quite fast with this game. Oh, yeah. And we got a new cassette also. Yeah. There. Skeleton. Cold. It's so bitterly cold. In the darkness of my control, lights dancing across the waves, the cold bit at my exposed bones. I pry every step off of the pavement. Humidity, humidity, yeah, humidity near the docks frees my feet to the ground. I can hear Isban, or Ibsen on, in the other room, still telling the shamans about the land of warmth and the ash and the portal and blah blah blah. I'm starting to think it's bullshit, but we're all so cold. The idea of a warmer place is so inviting. More flesh, he'd say. We need more for the portal. It's so close, my brothers. We will soon be embraced by his warmth, for he loves every one of us. It's so cruel, isn't it? I want to die, and I still do, but I can't. I have no brain to destroy or nerves to sever. The generals reassemble me as soon as I am I rip myself apart. And why is it so goddamn cold? He's going on. There's definitely some sort of plan in the works. Skeletons are found. No flesh and no love. Stop their harvest, or Ibsen is crowned. By the time I arrive, the harvest will be... Uh, but, okay, a bit of a spelling error, I think. By the time I arrive, the harvest will be near uh, complete. I'll only have a minute to destroy all the harvest totems. And this is in past tense. This is in... Uh, more present tense. So it should be either before I by the time I arrive, or by the time I arrive, the harvest uh, would be. You know, would, yeah, the, the D is not. The D is extra here. Small spelling error. Ibzan. His heart long gone. Ibzan leads the dredged. You must bring his end. He cannot do it alone. 
Okay. Forced conversion. The vampires are being turned to ash. Stop the next harvest. And yeah, we have a time limit now. Burn that. Okay, we need to find all of those totems and destroy them. It's two. And there's number three. Uh, let's see, we'll have to actually get past. I don't have it there. Yep. I thought I had the pistol. <laughs> Wasted shots. I see the philanthropists are in those. What the hell are those on the walls? Alcoves? Yeah, tiny alcoves. But that's true. Just out of where you come out for a vent. See, I want that tummy gun, but there's so many of them around there. Let's do that. Actually, if I don't open the door, I don't startle the vampires in here. And I'm act okay. I'm actually between on quite literally on the long side of these. Okay. Okay, there. I do like that. Fire actually freaks out characters nearby. Nope. You can't swap weapons whilst in the vents, so there. There. Yep. Of course. There. Maybe we need to destroy the Philanthropy trees first. Could try, yeah. Swap over, because we need that w small moment of. Okay, I, I survived longer than I expected, but yeah, with. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, there. I one of them missed you <laughs> several times. Damn it. There. She missed. Get to Tommy. And now that it is blocked off. Burn that. Okay. Tommy gone at the ready. This is going... Yeah. <laughs> it's dead within seconds. You could always take him take to the bathroom. Uh, oh, okay, those actually do link up. I thought they didn't. Okay, give me that. Yep. This and is now what, I overlook the those. This is I'm here for. There. Uncommentary and extra brain. And, and a bit frequently the smarter of the brains. Oh, there. thank you. Just got a crap out of him. Okay. Yep. Okay, take them down first, then break their bottles. There, burn that. Wait. We could sneak in and break the bottles, escape, then go to the bathroom, then blast in order. Yeah, we, we have a time limit. Uh, all right. Yeah, Air everything vent. gets complicated when there's a time limit. Yeah, take his SMG. Huh. I just got a question it's from my burger. Oh, burger might go there in the corner okay, and on the switch. I'm gonna check here. Huh. There else can be ever took chance to try Brutal against multiplayer on stream. Yeah, we never did try that. Uh, 
Okay, this time she got me on the first try. Yep. We gotta reply to them that uh, we never did try nor do I think we could. Yep. Mistake. Yep. Mistake that took our head off. There, there. Grab the Tommy gun. Move over. Take out that one. Take that. And well. Yep. Yep, come on. There. Okay, there is a way to cheese this a bit, I believe. But I. Either I have to be really lucky. There. Oh, oh, come on. There. One. Grab this. Move over. Okay, if this run fails, I'll try to, the cheese thing. Or rather, how I accidentally won this level on the first try. And there's no other vents around here. It uh, that was... I thought... I thought for a moment that ones from up top came down, but no, there was the two idiots on the ceiling. Did, did, did I get that guy on the... No, I got him with the shotgun. I got him somehow. Not that. That's there. No, no, I'm back here. Burn that. Pick that up. Okay, let's try the cheese this time. And it's actually a bit stupidly easy because the, the risk about this whole level is that we are in the blast range of these ash totems. There. I'm just going to take out as many as I can. Grab that. Burn that. Okay, those attacks don't actually go through walls. There, switched in time this time. Okay. Yep. I, I really dislike that sometimes just a half a second of stopping to, you know, of not shooting can be enough to get yourself killed. Okay. Last try before just full cheese modes. Okay, that was okay. That was stupid, but also funny. Give me that. Oh, love off. Okay. 
I really dislike that they will just jump past. It, it's on the one hand, it's useful, but by the time you've changed your aim to f shoot at them again, the next one will have already run up and likely killed you anyways. Okay, got her this time. Yeah, you can actually go past the time limit. As long as you're in a vent, at least. And the skeletons... Yeah, it's very clear that the skeletons are immune to the conversion. So yeah, it's, it's not, you don't actually need to do this in the time limit. He says destroy our ash token, not destroy the ash to them before time run out. Okay, yeah, the, doing it in time is only really f for yourself if you want to. There. There. Burn that. Kill you. Yep. Of course. with them. Now she made me just waste all of the ammo in the BMW there. Okay. There. Burn that. Grab that. This deals with them with literally one bullet left. Okay, one, two, combat shotguns. And there we go, even within the time limits, or with the, you know, even though it's not, yeah. Oh well, it's, oh. 
Okay. Uh, is there a back door here? Yeah, they're, they're down, down. Oh, wait, can I take fall damage? Don't take fall damage. And Okay, there is a vent here that leads me back in. Okay, so that's why that is there. Yeah, I was just to say, yeah, take that for uh, as well as you, if you can take top fall damage. Yeah. Okay. Still four stars, even with 26, 26 deaths. I, I think it's... I'm not sure whether it actually counts for these ranks. Oof. And I don't think we'll have enough time to finish another level, but let's still give it a shot. No forest, a lone tree. Kills her own for escape. A woman without guilt cannot live with me. Cannot live with me as something this fireplace or the flames repeatedly say, it seems. The candles have reported Madame Stella has... You know, has multiple phylacteries. I will have to destroy them all before making uh, taking Madonna Stella down. Okay, that's going to be an issue. And yeah, Madame Stella. She knows about the conversion. Kill her and stop the ash. Yep. Did I just get lucky there? Because don't those typically... T oh no, I... No, they, they take one shot and... This one doesn't have a phylactery. Okay. Uh, there. Oh, and that's that's the bitch in charge herself. And I see one. I see two of her uh, bottles downstairs. One, two, three. Perhaps even more. Oh, yeah. There's one right freaking here. And it's too high for us to actually stab. And I okay. guess we don't have a jump. Yep. Literally dodge bullets from there. But there she is. All we care about is the phylacteries and her herself. There. Okay, that's a few of them gone. There's no vent that leads into that room there, though. So we'll actually ha we'll actually have to fight our way into it. Yeah, two of them you need to fight your way into. Okay, also a note. You can't actually swap weapons when you're aiming. Okay, a bit of a bad place for a weapon. Let's see. Nope. Kill that Reaper. No, there's that one. Okay. Oh, two for one. A trade there. There. Okay. Get that out of the way. Okay, maybe with some luck I can catch a few extra bodies. Uh, nope. I only got the phylactery. And m myself killed. Uh, oh, good dear. Great. No need for the knife. Knife. That's actually good because that lures those two away. Actually, that lures more than those two away. Yep. There. She claimed your head as a trophy. Yeah. You really didn't hear that? The shotgun going off in the other room? Uh, I don't remember if these were both for betrayal or being the betrayers. Now, the, the fire said one of those, but I forget which. Aim. Yep. Yep. 
Okay, that was three of them all overlapping there. Actually... Yep. There. Now duck in here. And now that she's not here... But never mind. Oh, damn it. The bottles absorb a little bit of damage if they're in the way. Okay. I don't need to kill them, I just need to lure them all away there. Take that out. Is that a mine you threw down? No, uh, it was this... The knife I threw over to them. Or do you mean something here? Yeah, you threw something landing in front of a door. <laughs> There's a fake it did. Uh, just need to make sure that I have a shotgun equipped for this. So we can actually have a good chance at hitting that. Oh, come on! There. There. Okay. They're just instantly popped back out. Okay, they are spreading out now. I'll take the rest of that. Okay. Yep. Damn it, those assholes take two shots. So... There. Someone go catch that. I think yeah they hear they hear the prolactory go pop. Thin the ranks. Okay. And that no. wasn't enough damage fast enough. And one of the people over by the just said holy. Oh, damn it. At a surprise. He just lost it. Yeah, one of the vampires who the only thing remained was her head, arms, and legs. Yeah. Everything in the middle was gone in a mist of blood. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Holy. This game is brutal. Yeah, but we're literally slaying undead or re-slaying them. Hmm. Okay, going through that door is a mistake. There, is that going to lure them away? Yes, it is. So just put a hole in that. And I think that is the last one then. And yeah, there's two in the other room there. Oh, that one's one still. Come. Oh, oh love of. Okay. Someone catch. And, and miss. time is up. Okay, and this is our final run. Yeah, then we finish it next time. But you had some rest. <laughs> That's the freaking knife. I missed everyone again. So it is a knife. I missed up the knife for a mine. Starts away. 
Yeah, it seems that an alert going out from someone seeing us is, is louder than the actual gunshots and such. Okay. Actually, that leaves her alone here. And is that the lot? No, there's one more. You could move at the same time. There's just an absolute stack of these idiots here. Actually... The tummy gun sort of pierces. Also, hello. Okay, apparently staying in cover gives them damage reduction even when <laughs> I'm shooting them in the literal back. Okay. God damn it. Okay, well, well, and it's a good thing that this is gone still here. There we go. <laughs> With one minute over time. <laughs> okay, then the royals cleared. And so that's uh, been one gang each stream so far. All right. Okay. In part, it's a luck. In part, it's a bit luck. In the other part, it's just luring the idiots around. <laughs> okay. But that'll do it for this second stream of Dead Bolts. So let's quit and head on over here. Okay. Uh, but before we stop, we need to go raid and find someone to raid. So raid let me change Lander. the screen share. There, there. Switch and live. Now, let's see. We have... Okay, a decent amount of people online. We have Xenovioa, who is playing Minecraft. Or Z Zena... I forgot how to say the last bit. We have Zena playing Minecraft. Uh, Yay's Halloween. Okay, doesn't... It is muted, yes. Are they streaming basic or a mod pack? I got they're streaming it a bunch of others as well, it seems. And oh they they're in the uh they're in the deep dark. Okay, that can't be any fun for them. <laughs> oh dear. Next we have I'm nice who is playing Splatoon 3. <laughs> Splatoween, okay. So Wolves is playing Alan Wake 2. I haven't seen too many reviews that I tr you know, trust about the you know, this, but so far the overall idea seems to be that it's really good, which is actually surprising to me because well, often late sequels that are like a decade later have a tendency to suck because the people involved well don't understand the original. Uh, let's see. Next we have Karenai playing Crystal Project. And of course, bloody ads. Yeah, they're in the pre stream. I'm a flanker is playing the finals. Uh, <sighs> again? Same ad? Uh, and they're just showing a black screen in the preview window. Okay. Uh, moving on then. Puffle Cakey is just chatting. Isaiah Rozier is playing Slay the Princess. Okay, I saw that pop up on Steam recently. Next yeah, we have... Yeah, really that one. Yeah, and I don't know I, much I about it other it. than that. It says that you have to kill the princess, but this, though not to believe her lies. It could be some sort of horror thing or something. Either it's way... Horror, yeah. It seems to be multiple ending, as far as I understand. Let's see. We, actually, we have Ruffy Raccoon with Cyberpunk 2077. K9 is also playing Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft with guns. Uh, K, <laughs> what mod pack are you playing then? And then there's Edrim, who is playing Final Fantasy XIV. And last but not least, we have Horatius the Dwarf, who is playing what else? Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. This is looking promising, just. Yeah, stuck on PD Epic Storm. Yeah, it might come on Steam after a year or something, but they have not announced anything. But it will, it is coming to PlayStation on physical and digital the 5th December.
they had to delay it. And early next year on Xbox as well. Okay. Yeah, the, the thing is with these Epic exclu exclusives is that uh, they pay a lot to get, you know, to get them exclusive. But to my knowledge, they only really start to thrive once they get off of Epic. Because a lot of people just don't trust them. And I don't know how this how the state of it is, but basically when the Epic Store started, it lacked a ton of basic quality of life features. Like there were you couldn't even uh you if you had to buy games separately, for one example, you couldn't uh just add to baskets multiple things and buy them all at once. You have to do it for each and every one separately. And yeah, just the fact that when when they make games epic exclusive, it just feels like they're stealing from the, the Steam crowds. I, I, trying to. Yeah, they, but also... they do tend to pay better for the developers, so it is understandable, but yeah, there's still just something that feels scummy about it all. Yeah, and also since there's many people that dislike Epic, you think like, oh, only 10% of them is fine. Probably is if you had done it on Steam, you would, even if you paid only 30% of your own, you still wouldn't earn more on Steam anyway, due to the amount of people buying it. Yeah, it's a whole thing of market accessibility and such, but yeah. yeah. Apparently it's it's still bad on Epic, but they are still lacking a lot of quality of thing, life things there. And people have accused them of uh, spyware as well. Not surprising. And anyways, basically, in my opinion, Epic should stay with making bloody you know, game engines. That's what they actually make the most money of anyways. Uh, but yeah, who should we raid? Someone new, maybe? Uh, good question, good question. <clears throat> I intend to say let's raid who raises the dwarf, but mm. let's see. Shall I pick then? Yeah, let me pick. No new online. Uh, delinquent ghosts who is streaming Super Metroid. Let me take a peek. Yeah, okay. There, copy and last raid paste. And uh, yeah, if nothing goes wrong, later today we'll be continuing with Mythargia, which I double checked. It's rated as positive on Steam, not as mixed as I thought earlier. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see Maybe how it goes. Changed? Could it could have changed but... since last time we checked. But yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, more Mythargia. Uh, then tomorrow we will have Showcase Sunday again, now weekly once more. And yeah, we'll see what happens in the evening tomorrow. Hopefully more LA Noir, otherwise, uh, yeah, more Deadbolt or Mythargia. <clears throat> I'll, I'll be up for both. <laughs> okay. So yeah, before we start the raid though, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you Pizza Lover, and thank you Sensei for lurking, and thank you as always Drakir. You're welcome as always my friend, and thank you all for joining. Yeah. So yeah, I already said what's up, so yeah, until next time, have a nice day, and start the raids, until then. See you all soon again folks, and watch out for undead seagulls. And just undead in general. That too.